Hello, you are listening to Pankaj Rai and in this video we are going to discuss the 22nd Hotz problem of algebra. So let us begin. The question says that each coefficient in equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is obtained by throwing a fair die. That means each of the coefficient a, b and c they are obtained by throwing a fair die. That means a can come anywhere from 1 to 6, b can as well be any number from 1 to 6 and c can as well be any number from 1 to 6. So, the total combinations in which this can happen will form our sample space. So, number of points in the sample space will be number of ways in which a can come which is 6 into number of ways of b which is 6 into number of ways of c which is 6. So, number of points in the sample space is 216. That means, there are 216 ways in which this quadratic equation can be found by throwing a fair die. Now, what the question is asking? The question is asking us to find the probability that the equation have equal roots. Now, we know that any quadratic equation will have equal roots when delta is equal to 0. That means, b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. That means, that b square is equal to 4ac or b square by 4 should be equal to ac. So, I will be using this equation to find the favorable points out of these 216. Now, we will be taking values of b 1 by 1 from 1 to 6 and see how many values of a and c exist for which this equation will be true. So, let us start with b equal to 1 for b equal to 1. For b equal to 1, b square upon 4 will be equal to 1 square upon 4 that will be 1 by 4. Now, this is coming as fraction 1 by 4, 1 by 4. There is no value of a and c from 1 to 6 for which the product of a and c will come as 1 by 4. Now, there is no such value of a and c for which b square by 4 should be equal to ac. There is no such value. So, let us move on to the next value of b. So, let us say for b equals to 2. For b equals to 2, b square upon 4 will be equal to 2 square upon 4. That will be 4 upon 4 and that will be equal to 1. So, are there any values of a and c for which product of a and c will come as 1? Yes, there is. So, this b square by 4 will be equal to ac when a is equal to 1 and b is also equal to 1. So, at that point of time, the product ac will be equal to 1. So, in that case, the b square by 4 will be equal to ac. So, this is the first combination wherein we will be having b square by 4 equal to ac. And there is no other value of a and c for which this will be true. Now, let us move on to the next one. For b equal to 3. For b equal to 3, b square by 4 will be equal to 3 square by 4 and that will be 9 by 4. Now, 9 by 4 is a fraction. There cannot be any value of a and c from 1 to 6 for which the product will come as 9 by 4. So, b square by 4 cannot be equal to ac. Okay, over here as well, I forgot that b square by 4 cannot be equal to ac. Now, moving ahead, let us say for b equals to 4, for b equals to 4, b square by 4 is equal to 4 square by 4 and that will be equal to 4. So, is there any value of a and c for which the product of a and c will come as 4? Yes, there are. Actually, there are 3 such possible combinations. Now, b square by 4 will be equal to ac when a 
is equal to 1 and B is equal to 4 at that point of time AC will be 4 as well when A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 1 AC will be 4 also there is one more case when A equals to 2 and B equals to 2 at that point of time as well AC will be equal to 4 so now there are three such more possible values when we will have b square is equal to ac. Now moving ahead for b equal to 5 for b equal to 5 b square by 4 will be equal to 5 square by 4 and that will be 25 by 4 and since this is a fraction the b square by 4 can never be equal to AC because A and C are natural numbers from 1 to 6. Let us take the last value which B can assume which is B is equal to 6. For B equal to 6, B square by 4 will be equal to 6 square by 4 that will be 36 by 4 and B square by 4 in this case will be 9. Now is there any value of a and c for which b square by 4 can be 9 yes there is b square will be v square by 4 will be equal to ac when a is equal to 3 and c is also equal to 3 at that point of time the ac will be equal to 9 so b square by 4 will be equal to ac so this was one more point so there are five such possible values for a b and c for which b square by 4 is equal to ac that means b square equal to 4 ac that means b square minus 4 ac equal to 0 that means delta is equal to 0 so in this case the equation will have equal roots so number of points in this event that the equation will have equal roots is phi so probability of the event will be number of points in the event upon number of points in the sample space. So the probability of the question is 5 upon 216. Thank you very much.